Hi guys, it's Stuart here from Airshow World and welcome to tutorial number three of the Uniden BCT15X scanner tutorials. Okay, so um, where we left off last time, we were using um, ProScan. We're going to use um, a different software now. Um, it's a free piece of software that you can download. If you look at the um, under the video in the description, you will see a download link for this particular piece of software. And the one I'm going to use is called um, FreeScan. Just launching it all right now. Okay, so what you can see here is a list down this side here of um, basically everything that's in um, my scanner at the moment that's quite a lot of stuff yeah so uh, it's got a big capacity the um, 15x to store lots of frequencies um, the way you get all of that information from your scanner is simply by clicking on download from scanner you click on that comes up with this box here and you add to the uh, queue and you just simply start download um, the first thing you would do is you click on queue system list that will talk to the scanner and then you click on download okay there is a little bit more more to it than that sometimes with connecting your scanner making sure you get the correct com port but I will cover that in um, another tutorial basically all, all I'm going to do in this one is show you how to create a new system and a group and um, how to import uh, frequencies um, quickly what I'm going to do this one I created earlier let's um, let's delete that and we'll start from scratch to show you how to do this okay so new system uh, for what I'm going to use, it's going to be uh, a conventional uh, type, so uh, using FM and AM, so, because I'm using military frequencies, and this radio is not a digital radio. Um, if you're into digital radios, see my tutorials on the Whistler scanners. Okay, so what should we call this? We'll call it um, -I -T -A -R -Y, military airband. A-I-R-P-A-N-D. Okay, so this is going to be the system. Okay, and in systems, as I've explained on the other tutorial, um, in the systems you have groups. The best way to think about um, the way these are stored, think of the system as being the filing cabinet and the group as being the files and within the files you've got, sorry, <laughs> Think of the group as being the folders, and within the group, you've got your files, which we would call frequencies. Okay, so system is where it's all stored. Here we go. And in there, it automatically creates a group for you. So you've got a system and a group. Okay, now the earlier tutorial I mentioned quick keys and um, how I'm such a big fan of using quick keys so if you're starting this from scratch you could go you could start with uh, quick key uh, number one or even zero but um, as you see I've got lots of systems already created here so what um, this clever piece of software can do is you can click on find free and what that has just done it's found a free quick key um, okay so 20 so it's assigned 20 to this system just here and you can see 20 in brackets just there okay so that's your system the group as I just explained is where the frequencies are stored here I'm going to type um, a let's find some Waddington frequencies okay there we go now two ways of doing this um, you could well several ways I guess and um, but you could do it the long way and um, by um, typing everything in yourself um, just by clicking on that little thing there which is new channel and <coughs> um, 
By the way, let's um, assign this a quick key for the group because I'm going to put um, several different. I'm going to put, yes, uh, I'm going to put several different uh, groups in here. Okay, so Waddington. Now then, where shall we get some uh, frequencies from? My favourite place is uh, millscanners.org. Um, it's uh, in the public domain, so uh, you can use these frequencies without any problem whatsoever. Um, you go to the home page, you request a um, user login. Once you've done that, they will email you back with uh, your login, and then you'll be able to use this uh, database. You'll find it um, under this section here, database, VHF, UHF frequencies. Okay. And um, I'm looking for... Um, some frequencies for RF Waddington so let's type that in W A D D I N G T O N. there we go okay so that will um, search that database and this is uh, in real time so let's have a look I must have spelled something incorrectly yes I have W A D D I N G T O N. there we go too many um, New Year's Eve beers okay let's have a look and there we go so there's the frequencies we are looking for so let's copy those I'm just holding the uh, left mouse key down and selecting now I'm going to go right click copy okay now how this database was formatted uh, a few weeks ago it would allow you to go straight to easy scan I'm um, sorry uh, allow you to go straight to free scan and use easy grab uh, if you do that now you'll notice here we go import from clipboard that everything's all over the place which is no good we don't want that okay so close that so we just need to do one little step which is what we're going to do right now okay so this is Microsoft Excel I'm going to right click um, on the cell here just here paste and what we're going to do we're going to go for HTML before I, I'd go for text but say the formatting has changed so we need to use this okay so that's uh, pasted the frequencies in let's open some of these a bit wider so we can see what, what we're doing okay now this particular column here it's not formatted exactly how I want it out and I can see 119.5 I want to see a little bit more than that so if you right click and go to format cells click on number and we're going to change the decimal places to 4 and say ok and now that's formatted just how I want it okay um open this one a little bit okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to select that row and something that makes sense yes we're going to select that i'm going to hold down the control key and click there we go selected that one and that one that's how you do selective um uh, that's how you um do selective uh, you could select <laughs> I can't even say the right words here. Um, I'm um, se selecting, instead of um, selecting the whole lot, I'm just selecting that column and that column. Okay. Let's do copy. Okay. Let's go back to easy scan. This time, when we click on easy grab, all right, copy from clipboard and you see this time it's done exactly what we want now what we need to do here is to make sure that it's going to import the correct fields so check yes frequency that's correct that's the one we want name but i don't want to use that column because that just repeats itself by saying united kingdom so ignore um, ignore that ignore that ignore that this is the other one that i want this has got information for the name. In other words, when the scanner lands on that frequency, it will um, show 
let's go for that one when it lands on that frequency it will show you there yes that's that's the tower frequency okay right yeah I like that so click on import into free scan 19 channels have been imported let's close let's clear that close and there we go there's the frequencies okay I and it's not any tones in um let's have a look this section here this is for the um you could change these if you wish and I'm going to keep that to auto so when the um, radio scans through it'll um, know at least it should do that um, 119.5 is going to be AM yes when it goes up into say the 400s it will think it is FM if you have any problems you may such as some of the FM um, such as the uh, frequencies uh, in the uh, 400 range you may want to change those manually by clicking on a particular frequency, here we go, just here, and changing that to um, AM. Okay, but um, I'm going to leave all of that how it is because that's all in the AM range. Okay, so I think that's that's pretty um, straightforward. We've um, given the group a name, assigned a quick key to the actual group, and imported the frequencies. Okay. Um, I will select I will make one more we'll do this very quickly okay so new group we will um, let's see let's go for Milden Hall M I L D E N H A double L Milden Hall okay yes right um, so we're going to go for number two as the quick key scroll down here we go go Milden Hall there it is in brackets that's going to be the quick key the quick key for the actual um, system is 20 quick key for Milden Hall 2 quick key for Waddington is going to be number one if um, you see in this um, tutorial I instead of before you see one and two I'd recommend you certainly look at one and two because that will explain uh, quick keys for you okay let's go back to our favorite website here so we'll type Milden Hall M I L D E N H A L L there we go find them for me please there we go so let's go like this holding the left mouse down go across okay right click copy let's go back to here new worksheet and paste HTML right move that across right click on that format cells go to number one two one more please thank you okay that looks good all right we just going to have a look make sure which one we want to use mm. Yep, I'm still going to go with this one here. Let's go with that column. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, select. So, hold down the shift key. Click. Sorry, I do apologise. Click that one. Hold down the control key. There we go. Right click. Copy. Easy scan. Easy grab. In copy from clipboard frequency yes that's in the right place no I don't want that ignore that's the date the name tags that I want okay that looks good all right and import into free scan 25 channels have been imported let's clear that close that and away we go there they are that's much quicker than um, typing away all day putting all of these in okay so and that's how to uh, basically um, b b build it up yes yeah, so um, on your radio you could have um, here we go you've got your airband in each one of these you 
record have um, up to 99 groups okay just remember you may be able to have 99 groups but you can only have um, you can only assign I believe 10 quick keys okay and um, but there is ways and means of um, getting around all of that as well okay so just to recap what we've done in this tutorial is showed you how to create a new system yeah new group and um, how to import frequencies from mill scanners into Excel the next little job would be to um, send or upload to your scanner so you'd click on that this program is clever enough to work out um, any new any changes that you have made so just scroll down there we go so that was the one I made earlier so that's the only one I would want to send I'm not going to send these I've just done this as a um, test so what you do put a tick there and then click on start upload and um, providing your scanner is connected to your laptop via the lead that uh, came with your your scanner they should then um, go straight into your scanner and then um, be up and running and working okay so that just about brings this uh, tutorial number three to a close um, the next tutorial I will um, do we will start to go into explaining how to um, create um, a GPS uh, for your um, scanner using these little things here. It's, um, it's a facility like I've mentioned in the uh, other tutorials that I use a lot. It's very useful for when you're driving around the country. Your scanner will automatically, without touching your scanner, it will automatically, as you drive around the country, go straight to that particular um, say airbase and you can set um, what distance you want I normally put um, a radius of about um, 10, 10 miles um, but I'm not going to go into that now I will explain all of that in tutorial number four which um, will be coming in the next uh, couple of days so that's um, three tutorials um, to go through at the moment hope you enjoyed this please um, think about uh, subscribing to Airshow World and um, when you if you do subscribe there's an option that um, says um, get notifications uh, it's a good idea to click that because every time I upload a new video um, you will be the first to know that um, we have a new video out so um, please sign up leave a comment if there's any other um, uh, think topics you'd like uh, me to cover and um, I will um, do my very best. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time